All right, so we got Lords of the Fallen official master of fate overview trailers. Go to the video. I really, I'm gonna be honest Hello, with you. fellow Lambatters. Okay, Saul here. After the culmination of our three and a half years of passion, we launched Lords of the Fallen, our debut game at Hexworks. We were truly humbled when we saw that in just over a week, there were already over a million of you embarking upon the wall of Mordstead. Your belief in our vision has been our driving force. Today, we'd like to take the opportunity to share some insights on our transformative new update that will redefine your future playthroughs. I wonder... We take immense pride in Lords of the Fallen, okay. being amongst the first ever games to launch on Unreal Engine 5, and the very first action RPG to do so. It is in part thanks to this amazing technology that we were able to overlay two parallel walls on top of each other, with the ability to switch Wait, instantly between them both. Hey, that's massive though, that's crazy. We wanted to bring something- That's honestly crazy, hold up. Innovative to the genre. Something that would provide a unique twist. That said, this innovation, coupled with a brand new game engine, meant we were navigating completely uncharted territory from a technical standpoint. Furthermore, we aspire to elevate the genre's prevailing online multiplayer mechanic with our seamless co What did he say? Online player? To other games in the genre, players stay together after defeating a boss. Wait, this game has online? Since when? While a full co campaign was beyond. Hey, that's hard. I'm gonna be honest with you. Hey, this is hard. I believe that this stands as one of the very best multiplayer experiences currently available within the action. Episode. Wait, is this out? Despite our best efforts. Some people experience unforeseen technical issues when Lords of the Fallen first launched. Hey, I like him. He's very honest. I like that a lot. We've I like taken that. Your feedback very seriously and acted as swiftly as possible to bring the game in line with our vision. We've I like that. Over 30 updates to address gameplay feedback. 30 and updates? All hiccups, which in many cases only occurred on very specific PC hardware. As a result, we are delighted to confirm that the likelihood of any in game crash is now less than 1%. Save game hitches have been fully resolved and frame rate has been significantly improved across all platforms. Likewise, our online multiplayer experience is now more stable and more responsive. Who says what's ever. this guy's name? In light of the game's enduring popularity, we made the decision to expand its period of life support. And in early November, we built an ambitious Wait, launch roadmap. What's this guy's name? Passing several significant content updates alongside free continuous smaller releases they giving out gameplay for the free content, like new armors new weapons mini bosses new quests and we've also taken the opportunity to address the most popular user oh i need his name and asap density has been reduced boss difficulty has been increased and we've added numerous quality of life improvements i'm pleased to say bro how big is this game experience oh is my the best god it's ever been and it's about to get even better I'm delighted to introduce the final stage of the Lords of the Fallen free content roadmap. Free Master content? He giving out content for the free? Hey, this game, bro, the whole scenery of this game looks amazing. Whether you purged the five beacons in the name of Aureus, reveled in their Rugar corruption as the champion of a deer, or even sided with the all-consuming entity, otherwise known as the Umbral Mother, a brand TV new guy. and totally unique game experience now awaits those who've completed Lords of the Fallen. Forge your own bro, destiny. Bro, this is hard. Like this game itself, and it's hard. It's hard, bro. I don't care what people say. This game is hard. Game modifier system, empowering players to completely customize subsequent playthroughs of Lords of the Fallen. Adjust mob density, randomize loot drops and enemy types, and even enable permadeath with the Iron Man modifier for an all new light challenge for only the most battle hardened of Crusaders. These new gameplay modifiers are completely optional and can be applied to either the new game plus or reset world option you're presented with when completing an initial playthrough. Oh, You're snap, so you can like just reset everything? With multiple configurations Bro, y'all don't understand how good this gameplay is. Unique experiences. Plus, there's new achievements for all new gameplay features. And fear not, you'll always have the option to reset the world at any vestige, in case you were a little too ambitious in your choices. So, let's oh take my a look God. at the options. Oh. Bro, who made this game? Bro, what company made this game? I need to know immediately. 
the all-new randomizers really turn New Game Plus on its head. In random enemy mode, every encounter will be completely unpredictable, with absolutely any of the 70 plus enemy Oh, so this is like an actual spawn. benefit in restarting Perhaps the game. you'll face a dreaded marauder in the opening hours, or a patrol of skin Oh, this is hard, bro. Hey, this is hard. I'm gonna be honest with you, this is nice. Similarly, with random loot spawns, there's no knowing what item you'll pick up next. So everything is Whether random, opening a chest even if you restart the game. playing an umbral belly, Literally any weapon, armor, or one of the other numerous items can be found at any point in the game. Perhaps a super OP dual-handed battle axe lies just around that corner. Though at the same time, there's every chance it'll turn out to be that bottom of the barrel shield. In the RNG gods we trust. And speaking of loot, there's also the pre-upgraded loot modifier, ensuring all weapons, shields, and catalysts found come pre-upgraded based on your player level. My bad, y'all. My bad. Sorry about that, y'all. For the ultimate, I think sure my, my uh, stuff was on. Iron Man. If slain in Axiom, you'll still resurrect an Umbral for a second chance to survive. But suffer defeat in this nightmarish realm, and that's the end of your adventure. It's GG. Instead of reviving at a vestige, you'll restart at the very beginning of the game, albeit retaining your player level and items. Pair this with our loot randomizer, and you've wait, effectively wait, turned whoa, 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 whoa. into a bona fide. Wait a minute, if you die, experience. you gotta restart? It's like back in the day. By selecting the withered healing option, you'll know. Sorry y'all for the whole for the interruptions for and stuff. Sorry about that. Instead, when you use your sanguinarix or other consumable to heal, you will only receive wither. Meaning you'll have to play aggressively for any chance of survival. Dang, so they're making you become like aggressive. For many a dark crusader. With the vestige decay modifier, you can adjust the number of vestiges you'll encounter in your crusade across Mornstead. Or you can even remove them altogether for the ultimate challenge of endurance. More enemies modifier. Challenging enough, there's the more enemies modifier. Oh no. Which increases the number of formidable foes you'll oh, encounter. Oh, oh, oh no, I'm not turning that on. Oh no. So, uh -uh. You want to make I'm not getting easier, jumped. Harder, or simply rearrange a few things for an equally unpredictable second, third, or even fourth journey through Mornstead. Become um. a master of fate. So this actually like benefits of you playing it over again. And free for all owners of Lords of the Fallen. Listen, first of all, first of all, shout out to uh, I don't know who this guy is. If somebody can uh, tell me down below what this guy's name is, bro. This guy right here deserves a he deserves a ten dollar raise, bro. As a matter of fact, I'm sorry, quadruple that, bro. He deserves a forty dollar raise, bro. Because this guy, I don't know if my math is mathing, but bro, this guy right here, bro, I like his honesty. I don't know if he's like the head of like, like everything at the company, whoever made this, bro. But like, I love how honest he is. That's number one because he's like, oh, you know what? Um, our game was freezing. Our game was like, our game was like messing up a little bit. Don't worry, you know, we fixed everything. Da -da 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 -da. Like, like this guy, he cares. You know, I'm not gonna come at anybody's neck or nothing. But this guy right here, bro, he's actually he made he sat down, made a video, took a, took the time out of his day and said, you know what, bro? Um, as a matter of fact, we were messing up, and uh, I would just love to tell everybody that we fixed it all. And best believe that uh, that less than one percent. Will lag and that and stuff like that, bro. That's absolutely perfect. But I actually wish, you know, more. Um, and I don't know what this guy's, you know, position is, but I actually wish more people that actually work for their game and like, you know, if they're like the director, if they're like the head of, uh, if like, the, if they're like the head of the game, if they're like the, uh, the creator of the game, whatever. I just wish that more people came up and was like, yeah, bro, we messed up. Like, you know, it's not you guys' fault. It's not the console. It was us. And uh, we decided to actually, like, you know, fix it up and stuff like that. Because that's actually major respect, bro. Major respect. And I didn't even know, this, like, I didn't even know this game was out. I'm just going to be honest with you. The game, it seems like, this, you know, this game is out. So if it's actually out, then uh, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I might have to get it. I didn't know this game was actually coming out. Am I late to the party or or, or what? Tell me if I'm late to the party. Because if I'm late to the party, I, I can just leave. Like, you know, like, like no, 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 no buggy, no buggy, you know, for me. Like, like if I'm late, I'm late, you know. But if I'm early to the party, like just like you guys, then, you know, I guess I'll be early. So if you don't know what that means, basically, like, is the game out or no? You know, because if the game is out, I'll buy it right now. Like, I'm not, listen, listen, call me what you want, but you won't call me a loser. Listen, I'm buying the game, okay? If the game is already out. If the game's not out. It is what it is, and I, I guess I'll wait with you guys. But other than that, man, um, this game, I did not know this game looked that good. I'm going to just be honest with you. 
Um, looking at like the gameplay and stuff like that. Looking at the first of all, the bosses look a little difficult. I mean, obviously, like I'll get rid of these bosses first try, but like the bosses look a little difficult, you know. So like. I don't know, but I might have to hold it off, you know, if the game comes out or if the game's already out. I don't know. I, I might have to just look it up, like, after, the, uh, after like, the, the video or whatever. But comment down below. What do you guys think about um, this overview trailer for Lords of the Fallen? Um, this game looks absolutely amazing. I think this comes out for PlayStation. It has to come out, like, for PC, of course. Uh, and I think I think it's coming out for everything, if, if I'm being honest. But uh, other than that, man, subscribe to the channel, like the video, so you guys got to fix them out. And 